I taught a seminar in Granada. What a beautiful experience. Hello Kimo friends and welcome to this new video. Some weeks ago I headed toward Granada where I taught a seminar about the first two plays of Fiore de Libre alongside the white play, The Crossing in Punta di Spada. Everything started a Wednesday a bit too early in the morning, early enough to be considered late, when me and Elisa jumped on our car and went to Malpensa to board our airplane. The travel was relatively smooth and uh, between a good book and a couple of uncomfortable naps we were in Malaga in the blink of an eye. There my friend and host Pedro Velasco was waiting for us. We jumped on his car and we headed toward Granada. But first of all we had our second breakfast of the day, of course. <laughs> We arrived in Granada and we spent the first two days visiting the city center. Ciao piccolo churro. Non sono un churro. Granada is quite unique. There is a mixture of Christian and Islamic architecture, especially while talking about historical buildings, of course. We walked around as much as possible, trying to leave a little bit the city both in its historical and modern aspects. On Thursday, Pedro brought us to visit his fencing hall. He built everything inside of it by himself. The place is large and uh, it can host many people training at the same time. It is also slowly expanding even more and I am looking forward to see it complete. Friday morning we had a meeting with the other instructors of the event and I had a chance to fence with them for a couple hours. If you are asking yourself how I look like while trying to fence the Stretha with someone who practiced it since years and years, well, uh, <laughs> look at this. My brain actually removed this. Anyway, after my friend Diego tried to stab my talala, I had some lovely longsword fencing with the other instructors and their trainees. A particular mention goes to Eduardo Varela, which studies Marozzo and has a beautiful form and represents that style in a super clear and beautiful manner. We then went to have our lunch at a local restaurant, ready for the beginning of the event. Retorno alla Spada started on Friday evening with three beautiful lectures. They were all in Spanish though, so my brain had to work quite a lot to understand them, but luckily Spanish and Italian are pretty close and I understood a good 90% of it. Saturday was the seminar's day. Two single rapier destrezza classes and a rapier and rotella one, which definitely amazed me. Then Pedro taught a class on Pedro del Monte, showing some actions he interpreted from his writings. There was also a Jogo do Pau seminar, held by the Portuguese instructor Jessica Gomez, which was extremely cool to watch. If you don't know, Jogo do Pau is a Portuguese two-handed staff martial art, which uses the staff in a way which reminds a two-handed sword. First time I see it in person, and uh, it was extremely interesting. And then, at a sudden, it was my turn to teach my class. A seminar on two plays of Giocolago may seem something quite easy to deal with, right? Well, actually, crossing in Punta di Spada has two plays only, but it represents around 60 to 70% of the whole longsword fencing. If this sounds weird to you and you are interested in understanding more about this, consider joining my Patreon, where I am delivering the entirety of my Fiore de Libre longsword interpretation right now. I just finished delivering crossing at the tip of the sword, the topic of the seminar, so it is there waiting for you. Anyway, back on topic. So I started working on display and I started delivering technique after technique built on top of the crossing in Punta di Spada concept. Bindings, beatings, pairing, fainting. We went through many archetypes of actions, and so we were able to see how the genius of Master Fiore resumed such a broad amount of fencing plays in a couple of images and glossa. And so, technique after technique, the time flew away and the end of the seminar 
arrived. After taking breath just a few minutes, we moved toward the center of La Thubia, where me and the other instructors held a fencing demonstration in front of the locals. Here, of course, I have to mention the beautiful Destreza showcased by Placida Molina. Some clean and measured fencing which is not easy to find around. Sunday was rather challenging. First of all, me, Elisa and our new friend Jessica decided to arrive at the event hall by climbing the Sierra Nevada. Okay, let's be honest, we walked a couple hundred meters and we were there, but I mean, it still counts as an adventure, right? Anyway, Sunday morning I had more or less 20 sparring matches, I basically sweat all the water I had, plus a couple liters more probably. The most interesting sparring I had were with my friend Gonzalo, you can see some of the exchanges I had with him in the previous video I uploaded the past week. And uh, after some hours spent together fencing with my new friends, the event was unluckily at its end. We then got back in the center of Granada, where I was finally able to satisfy my need for calories. It seems I found the food. By the way, the food almost won the match this time. Almost. Monday was our last day there, and we finally were able to visit the Alhambra. If you don't know what it is, it is a huge fortress on top of the hill just above the city center of Granada. The Alhambra is both giant and beautiful. You need an entire day to visit it. And uh, actually, don't make our error if you have a project to visit Granada. Buy the ticket as soon as possible. Trust me. At the entrance of Alhambra, we found our new friend Lorenzo Braschi waiting for us. Lorenzo talks a zillion languages because he's born in Spain, but his parents are Italian. He then speaks English, Polish, uh, too much languages. Anyway, we visited part of the Alhambra together before he had to leave, and then me and Elisa completed the visit. Then we walked a lot, 30,000 steps inside of the Alhambra only. It's, it's huge. Once we were outside, we headed toward our last dinner in Granada. And after having some tapas with our new friends, it was time to get back home. At 6 a.m. in the morning, we were already in the car with our friend Pedro, which brought us to Malaga, where we boarded our plane, which brought us back to Milano Malpensa. See that mountain there? That is the Monte Rosa, which is a mountain over my valley, so my valley is underneath it. So basically, I'm almost tall. You actually see it from Alpesa, funny enough. Ah, home sweet home. By the way, if you are interested in organizing a seminar too for your club or someone else, just contact me on Facebook or on any other social media which I use. You will find the link in the video description. Thank you very much to all my new friends which I met in Spain and especially to my friend Pedro for his kindness. As always, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.